Caleb Leverett, notorious dad, or deadbeat dad, as according to Attorney General of Texas, Ken Paxton. Kids and I had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year's. London and I went and saw The Greatest Showman, well worth the money. Now it's back to the grind. Ken Paxton is the Attorney General of the state of Texas. Ken Paxton seized my bank account and froze it about a month ago after I put in about $4,400. It was, the money is still there and it, my, not even my kid's mother can go, can have it. So anyways, now in my spare time, I don't know any other candidate that is formally announced that uh, uh, as far as running against Ken Paxton, Ken Paxton has a video on his Facebook page where he has announced uh, that he is running for re-election and he's bragging about how many times he sued Obama and blah 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 that's every attorney general does that it's a it's a big it's a big circus it doesn't mean it very little comes about it most people don't even including myself don't even know what he sued him for and how it benefited us we Texans us Texans so anyways Ken Paxton was I don't know if he's formally arrested but he had a grand jury indictment on three counts of basically being a crook when he turned himself into the Collin County uh, jail. Collin County jail, all the jails are different. When I was in the Hector County jail, we didn't have to put anything around our neck, a cloth or anything. But apparently in the Collin County jail, if you were booked, like Ken Paxton was booked and got his mug shot made, his attorneys worked out something with the prosecutors where he didn't have to wear this, this this towel around his neck he got to wear his suit and you know that's just more more good old boy preferential treatment that Ken Paxton got that you know we pee on common folks don't get so like that being said I don't care if it's a Democrat or a libertarian or an independent anybody I don't know anybody the, the, the people even if it's another Republican I, I am actively campaigning against Ken Paxton. Ken Paxton made this personal, and so I'm going to make it Ken make it personal on his end. I am actively campaigning to where he loses on an epic level re-election in 2018. So the November election this year, Ken Paxton doesn't want you to know that he's been indicted on three different counts of being a crook. He doesn't want you to know that he has a formal mugshot. Even if you see it, he doesn't want you to remember that he didn't have to put the towel around his neck like everybody else does. So, if Ken Pax, if you live in Texas and Ken Paxton has ever screwed up your life royally by seizing your bank account, let me know. Make a video and send me the link. Or make a video and send it to me and if you don't have Facebook or YouTube, I'll upload it on my channel. I don't care. When I started this battle years ago with Parker, my YouTube channel had like maybe 100 subscribers. And fortunately now that people are getting so irritated and fed up with the government involved in our lives telling us every single thing on how to raise our kids it, our channel is about to hit a hundred thousand views hopefully in the next week or two maybe three it just kind of depends you know right now it's surging and the only reason I know it's surging is I, my my phone number got leaked back in the you know a couple of the, the, the Parker videos and people were texting me and telling me their stories about how they've watched our content and how they were going through struggles and they mimicked what we were doing and now they're having some success we're just now having success with playing or actually all of my kids being able to choose where they want to live so if Ken Paxton has ever seized your bank account or in, in any other way made your life just an extra living hell because life's already tough anyways we don't need any help all the crap I had tied to that bank account, it just ruined everything and I had to spend all this time and money getting new accounts and open, getting things going. So make a video, tell me how the Attorney General, Ken Paxton, has ruined your life or made your life harder and how you came across our, our content and how it, 
if it benefited you, just, just let me know and I'll post it on my Facebook, the link to your video. And like I said, I don't know who else is running against him. I don't know what their policies are, but again, Ken Paxton made this personal, so I'm making it personal. I don't care really at this point who the Attorney General of Texas is, as long as it's not Ken Paxton. Because again, like I've said before, politicians by nature always make enemies. That's just part of being a politician. The key is you don't make too many enemies, because if you do, then nobody likes you and you don't get elected or re-elected. In fact, Ken, Ken Paxton's facing like, I don't know, 90 some years in prison if he's found guilty and gets the maximum sentence. So make a video, tell me about how he's made your life harder, not better, because they always say it's in the best interest of the children. Well, I beg to differ, holding that money so my kids can't get the benefit of it, or even me, that is not in the best interest of my children. So that is a blatant bullshit lie. Let me know how he's made your life harder and how you came across our content and how our content made you feel or if it motivated you to get active or if y'all mimicked what we, what me and my boys have done and had some success stories. So here's to a wonderful, beautiful 2018. I love you all. Peace.